Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, we are going to be going over the two-factor authentication update they did on Rocket League recently, because a lot of people don't have all the information to what the update was about and how to enable two-factor authentication for them. And I'm doing this video because I've seen one out there, but it doesn't really go over the information. And yeah, also, I ran into this problem on my Nothing to Something account when I was doing trading for the next video, which should be this weekend. And yeah, I just thought I should go over it. Also, the 700 sub giveaway winner did respond, so that will be at the end. And remember to subscribe and comment your gamer tag to join my 850 subs giveaway for a shattered. And remember, my Discord is always in the description. And let's get into the video. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Okay, so recently Rocket League has released a new update telling that anybody who wants to trade has to enable two-factor authentication. Now, for people who have never played Fortnite before, I used to play a while back, and so I had two-factor authentication enabled just because why not? They won't have to do it, but I realized that this thing was uh, like a kind of a real new update when I went on my Nothing to Something account and it required me to enable two-factor authentication. So, I know there are a lot of people out there who need to enable it, but don't know how. And trading's a big part of the game, so I'm just basically going to show you how, because there haven't been too many tutorials on this, and those tutorials haven't been widely viewed. So hopefully I can help a couple more people by just putting this out. Anyway, here is the best way to enable two-factor authentication right here. Okay guys, so there are two ways that you can sign up for two-factor authentication. One for PC and one for mobile. First I'll go over PC and then I'll go over the best way for mobile. So as you see on my screen, I am on the Epic Games launcher. And if you don't know how to get here, just go to the Epic Games homepage on Edge and then press the Get Epic Games and just download it so you can get the Epic Games launcher. And then this will take you here where you can sign in. And I'm already signed in, as you can see down here. The name I made a very long time ago, but yeah. Anyway, from here, you should just be able to go down to this page right here. And when you're here, then you will just go to Manage Account, and it'll take you to a whole different page. All right, so by pressing Manage Account, that should take you to this page right here. And from here, you want to go down to Passwords and Security. And this will take you to a place right here where you can change your password and retype your password and yeah, all that, all that good stuff. But if you scroll down, then that takes you to the two-factor authentication page. From here, if you turn on the Authenticator app, that's the best way to turn on two-factor authentication. You just have to enter in an insanely long code that's like 50 letters, but it doesn't take that long. And then you just have to enter in the code on your Authenticator app, which you should have downloaded when it tells you to. And from there, you'll have two-factor authentication set up. And if you want to do email authentication, you could do that. But yeah, all you have to do to do this is just download the Authenticator app on your phone. And then you'll also have to verify your email by going onto your email and finding the Epic Games link that they sent you. So yeah, hopefully this helped, and let's go to the mobile one real quick. Now, for the mobile one, it'll take you to the exact same page, except to get there, you have to search up just Epic Games, just plain like that, and go to the home page. This should be the first one up on your screen. It should just say Epic Games dash home. This will take you to this page, and on mobile, this sign-in piece will work, but on PC, it makes you go through the Epic Games launcher. So that's why I didn't do this for PC. So as you can see there, doesn't work. And yeah, so again, hopefully this helped. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. And to see who won the giveaway for 700 subs, congratulations to Clev23KC. Congratulations to Clev23KC. And here's me giving him the polypop. And I think he enjoyed it a good amount. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again this weekend. Bye, guys.